St. Louis Science Center isn't just a play playground for kids. It's a destination spot for adults, too. I have a lot of fun there. But did you know this? This modern marvel has a history dating back to the 1800s. News 4 Steve Harris digs into how the past is part of the present. Where can you find dinosaurs, bugs, mummies, and a Mars mission medley? Well, that would be the St. Louis Science Center. And believe it or not, this place dates back to 1856. There was a group of gentlemen interested in scientific education and research. And so they formed the Academy of Science of St. Louis. And together, those gentlemen had their own little private collections, natural history specimens, you know, like insects or shells, that kind of thing. And over time, they wanted to put them all together and show them off and also help, you know, encourage research and education. That was the first scientific organization west of the Mississippi. Now, in 1959, they bought two buildings in Clayton's Oak Knoll Park that became the Museum of Science and Natural History. And they continued to gather things like archaeological materials and paleontology specimens, fossils, that kind of thing, and show them off. Well, needless to say, they outgrew their buildings here. In 1985, the museum joined with the city's planetarium and that's when we became the St. Louis Science Center. But then in 1990, 91, they started building the main building, which is behind us. And so that building became what we now know today as the St. Louis Science Center. A lot of history for the place filled with history. So we have a lot of exhibits and it's really designed for hands-on interactive education and learning. Everything from the Mars Rover. So these are objects from the Science Center's collections. To the mummies of Egypt. And mummy always told me video games were a waste of time. But check out this room dedicated to their history. It helps connect people to science in a way that they can't experience or get anywhere else. Atari 2600. You know I had one of these when I was a kid. When you come here to the Science Center, you have the ability not only to learn, but to play and have fun while you do it. You know, I used to unplug the game so I could always get the high score. Nostalgia and new technology. Collections, exhibits, all this under one roof and just outside, educational, fun, and free. Most science centers actually don't have a collection, so because of our rich history, we're able to have both. And so we can offer something, something to St. Louisans that they can't get anywhere else nearby. And giving us a reason to be proud. Steve Harris, News 4.